What up, y'all? It's your boy, Money Man Sale. How y'all doing, huh? Y'all doing good? Y'all doing fine? Um, look, man, um, I know throughout the pandemic, money been short for a lot of people. I know we've been having problems stretching that dollar, stretching the coin, you know? And I know y'all been really working hard, man. It's okay to be cheap in a lot of categories, but there's some places where you don't need to be cheap at, you know? Today, we're gonna watch another episode of Extreme Cheapskates. Um have one extreme cheapskate right here. If y'all didn't watch that, then y'all should go watch that. It's gonna be the first link in the description. I don't know why y'all not keeping the tab on my video. But anyways, let's go watch this one. My name's Greg Yensko. I'm 29 years old. I've lived in Cincinnati, Ohio all my life. I'm a Zumba dance instructor, and I'm an extreme cheapskate. I'll do a clinical study anytime I can, because those pay really good money. I really wanted to buy this lowrider, and I had to get $3,500 somehow. I got really lucky. The clinical study that I found online was paying the same amount. I had to put uh, ointment in my butt, but I got a car out of it. That's some hustler shit right there, you feel me? A lot of y'all not going, it's going to fly past y'all brain. He a real hustler. He needed this lowrider. So you know what he said? What? I might get some... I might get a couple crazy rashes on my butt, have a crazy allergic reaction that I don't know what the fuck to do about, have some pain. But I get 3500 out of it? That's a hustler. I, I don't see nothing wrong so far. Hi, welcome to my condo. I got pretty lucky. One of the ladies from Zumba said, hey, my grandpa just passed away if you want to live in our condo for free. In return, I'm supposed to mow her lawn, but you know, you can't beat free rent. These are my roommates. We got Raj and Kevin here. <laughs> they are sick of his shit. They didn't even acknowledge the camera. Oh, hey, nothing. Look, look at his face. Look at him. That's a face of hatred right there. Painful bringing women back to the apartment because furniture is everything. It's embarrassing. This place definitely smells like old people. Don't this nigga Kevin look like Flat Stanley? This is the kitchen. Um, all right, where to begin? There's no point in paying for anything that you should get for free in life. I never spend money on condiments. Anytime you go to a restaurant, just take extra when you're there. I would never pay for paper plates or any kind of plate, really. I got lucky. I got these for my, uh, my nephew's birthday party. That's a damn shame. You don't have no shame as an uncle, bro? None? You're going to go and steal little animal plates? You don't think nobody in the room is looking at you? Dad, why is that grown man stealing plates? I don't even know, son. Let's just get away. To save money on cups, um, I actually reuse yogurt cups. I got this from my grandma. This way, they're all labeled. Everybody knows whose cup's whose. How the fuck you use Yoplait yogurt as cups? That's brilliant, bro. I didn't think of that. I don't put them in the dishwasher because the dishwasher wastes way too much money on electric and water, so I just hand wash them in the sink. You, he doesn't even wash them. Eating at this man's house is a fucking health risk. He said he hand washes them. He doesn't even fucking run the water and soap. Like, come to think of it, I didn't see no, I see hand soap. Why is there hand soap by the sink? Uh, this is my closet. When I go shopping, I always leave the tags on the shirt because you never know if it's gonna go out of style. So always keep the tags and you can just return them later. I paid for them. It's not stealing if you pay for it. I'm living the dream. I know that man's shirt don't say living the dream. My nigga, what dream are you living? Greg thinks that he lives a pretty normal life and most other people would probably think so too until they get to know him. God damn. The shade that this roommate is going is throwing at him, bro. They had to fight when this shit aired, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way that they was cool after this shit. He takes showers with his clothes on. By washing my clothes in the shower with me, uh, I'm saving at least $15 a month because I don't have to use a washer, a dryer, soap. Oh my God. What in the white people is this? This dirty, musty bitch is washing him with his clothes. This is a dirty dog. This is some next level dirty shit. Dirty. That's all I gotta say about this. Straight dirty. I like going on free internet dating sites. By far the best part about online dating is you don't have to spend money on dinner and drinks and uh, wasting gas, going places, meeting people. Just get online and uh, it's free. This girl's kind of hot. Uh, she likes fancy restaurants and traveling. <laughs> Next. Honestly, I would have done the same thing, bro. 
What type of lame ass shit is that to put in your dating profile, bruh? Hey, bruh, he's being honest, though. He don't lie to them. He likes a girl that he think is cheap. So if he get at you, you need to step your game up. Easy going, homebody, good cook. Oh, she likes camping. Oh, and she likes long walks. Long walks are free. I like this one. Hi, is Brandy there? Hey, um, I saw your ad online, actually. Um, you look kind of cute. Thanks. I'm really looking forward to meeting Brandy because uh, we both met on a free dating site. Do you want to go out tomorrow? Yeah. Damn. Talk about right to the fucking point. My nigga Greg gets right to the point. In less than 20 minutes, he saw, oh, I like her. Oh, she not about to make me spend no money? Bet. Then he said, you know what? What's her number? Let me get it. She gave it to him like that. Caught her right then and there. That's it. Already got a date. Already got his pussy in line. What y'all niggas doing? Y'all hating on him for being cheap? Bet you he not about to spend more than $10 on her. And she's still going bust. Yeah. Hate on him. I dare you. What do you think of the place? I like it. Pretty cool? Yeah. It's yeah. different. I love it. They let you like keep the utensils and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, y'all. Hi. Welcome to Pit to Play Barbecue. My nigga, there's not one single soul in this whole restaurant. That's how you know she's in for the cheapest, nastiest meal she ever ate. It's the middle of the day. It's prime hours. How is there not one person, at least at the bar? I've learned that Greg doesn't like to spend lots of money. There's nothing wrong with it. Just, it's different. All my friends get fucking spoiled and i'm over here with greg at fucking no man's land at a random ass barbecue spot most guys when they ask girls to go on dates they really want to impress or show off and so it's just it was different to see him really not care what part of this date made you go like this there's no positive interaction in this date like zero here's your food pulled Thank pork you. sandwich with a side of mac and cheese that looks good Thank you. and here's your one rib all oh, right thank you this place don't even got fucking plates that looks like the nastiest food i ever seen bro that should look like school lunch what else do you do besides save cups and utensils what else oh uh, at my condo like to save money on water, we only flush once a week. And I save like $30 a month easily. You just told her your butthole is dirty. You basically told her your bathroom is ass. It smells like shit all day. What are you doing, Greg? So you guys go to the bathroom the whole week and you don't flush. That's pretty disgusting. If you come over, I'll let you flush. Oh shit. <laughs> The God, how? How is this even? How did she not walk out yet, bruh? My, my man's still trying to fuck. He said, hey, you come over, shit. You got unlimited flushes, baby. Shit, fuck is you talking about? I hear you, Greg. I hear you. Once. Oh, never mind. Oh, my God. What did I tell you about Greg? I said, he came, he saw, he conquered. This is the only man that can go on a date. Spend, take her to the shittiest restaurant. Everything's shitty. Not spend a dollar on her. Come there in the most shittiest fit. I mean, look what he's wearing. That nigga wearing cheetah print shoes, oversized, fucking khaki cut off shorts, a random button up with a random green shirt inside, bro. He came there and he still got her to like him. If that don't tell you, you niggas is lacking bad. You niggas are lacking bad. Most most of these videos, I would end it off and criticize the person and all this, but in a weird way, I kind of commend you, Greg. You're, you were able to stay yourself the whole time and did not compromise. Not even an inch. He didn't compromise an inch. Anyway, that will be the end of this video. Make sure y'all leave a like. Make sure y'all leave a nice comment. You know, and subscribe to Money Man Sell because I know there's viewers out there that's not really subscribing. And, you know, I'm going to really beat you. Follow me on Twitter. You know, send me videos that you might, crazy videos on my Twitter at Money Man Sales in the description. Um, follow me on IG, Money Man Sell. Oh, yeah. Follow me. I'm on TikTok now. 
Follow me on TikTok at Money Man, uh, at Seller Bands. Money Man, so I'm going to screenshot my account. Anyways, your boy Money Man, so we out.